going on guys appreciate you stopping by do me a favor go ahead and click that like button it really helps the algorithm it helps get this video out to more people more people that click like makes it more important to YouTube and they'll put it in front of other people so I'd really appreciate it thank you very much if you have not heard that there were some documents that were released uh, they've actually been released for some time and not a lot of people are, are talking about it it's starting to pick up some steam that's how I heard about it and I just want to you know talk about it and kind of uh, reflect on it a little bit but the FBI raid at Mar-a-Lago that the Attorney General had signed uh, this document and it stated in there that the FBI agents were authorized to use deadly force. And, I mean, let's think about that for a minute. Again, whether you are a Trump fan, I am, but whether you are a Trump fan or not, look at, at what is happening here. Uh, besides all of the, you know, court cases and and you know this huge movement out to get him and stop him from becoming president again which is just unbelievable imagine if this was happening on the other side the you know the news mainstream media everybody would be freaking out absolutely freaking out but it's happening on the conservative side uh, so you know, he's got classified documents, which, uh, you know, Obama, Clinton, uh, Biden, who was not president at the time, they all had classified and have classified documents as well. But regardless, um, Garland signs the document, the FBI goes in and raids, fully armed, authorized to use deadly force to get pieces of paper uh, Trump was not at Mar-a-Lago when the raid happened but what would have happened if these guys come in with guns and the Secret Service pulled their guns and said you know what the hell are you guys doing there's a possibility there could have been a gunfight now it didn't happen but I think this really shows the extent that the deep state and the powers that be that are against Trump and what he represents and what he wants to do really goes to show the extent that they're willing to go to. And I suspect that they're willing to go much further. Um, I've said many times that I don't believe Biden is going to be running for president. I don't believe he's going to be the candidate. And uh, time's ticking away. We'll see if I, if I was right. And I very well may be wrong. But I think that uh, something will occur and he will either... Uh, resign and uh, you know he'll have some kind of health issue and he'll step down uh, as president currently and then somebody else will come in uh, or uh, the uh, Democrat National Committee you know he'll he'll decide he's not going to run for president and they will find somebody whether it's, uh, you know, Michael, I mean, Michelle Obama or Gavin Newsom or somebody that will get voted in by the committee and they will ride in on their uh, white horse or rainbow horse or whatever it is to save the day. Uh, that's, I believe that is, is what's going to happen. Now... There's also theories out there, and who knows? 
what, what will happen. But you are constantly hearing about Boeing in the news. Boeing planes having problems. I mean, it's 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 almost like there's something going on to make sure that everybody knows Boeing has problems. And guess who has a Boeing plane and flies around all over the United States at a Boeing plane? President Trump. So there's theories out there that uh, there's going to be a problem and Trump's plane will go down. Am I saying that's going to happen? No. I don't know. But that might be a last resort to get rid of him and to make sure he doesn't become president. But this document that's come out is just another indication uh, of the extent that these folks are willing to go to make sure this man does not become president again. Um, I, I cannot conceive how, and I'm not saying that out of everybody in the world that Trump is, is the best candidate for president. But based off of what he already did, he is certainly, um, he's on the right side of what needs to happen with this country. And, and I may get into that, into a, a whole other video, but, uh, you know, you look at what has happened over the last uh, three and a half years, and that, that represents the progressive uh, socialist, that, let's call it what it is, mindset and agenda and what it, it has on the impact of this country. And it blows me away that there are people out there that still look at Biden and, and support him and say they're going to vote for him. It's, I, I don't understand it. And I have yet to hear anybody provide any logical, common sense reasons why uh, they would vote for Brandon. I haven't heard a single logical explanation that makes sense. It's all emotion and fantasy and BS, really. So... Comment below. Let me know what you think. What do you think about these documents? Do you think that there's going to be more efforts outside of the court system to stop him from becoming president? Share your thoughts. So you guys stay safe. Take care. We'll see you next time. Known for controversial and unique books, Paladin Press published what many called a professional action library. Paladin was known as a resource for hard-to-find information often considered too dangerous to publish.